Welcome to the online tours by Main Story Gallery. Today we are going to be looking at the painting called Christ Healing the Paralytic at the Pool of Bethesda, painted by Bartolome Esteban Murillo. Murillo was born in 1617 in Seville, Spain to a family of 14. He was the youngest in his family. He is considered to be the most famous Baroque painter in the 17th century of Spain. If you would like to see this piece in person, you can come to the National Gallery in London where the piece measures eight and a half by eight feet. While he was still very young, about 10 years old, his parents tragically passed away and he was forced to live with his older sister and family. During that time was when Murillo developed an interest in art and studied under uh, an artist for about five years before he started to gain his own um, independence in the craft. At about 14 years old, he started selling his own paintings. And at about 22, he opened his first workshop and specialized in selling cheaper art so that the people of Seville could afford his pieces. Uh, and that was his way of trying to get his name out to the common folks. He was also very interested in learning more about other styles of painting and would travel often between Madrid and Seville, his hometown. Uh, he studied Flemish artwork as well as realist artwork and a lot of that influenced his early paintings before this one. During his travels, as he came back to his hometown of Seville, Murillo was commissioned to paint 13 paintings for the Monastery of San Francisco of Seville. After he finished this project, that was when his popularity really grew and he became very busy. During the peak of his busy time was when he was commissioned for this particular art piece. So this piece was commissioned by the Brotherhood of the Hospital of Caridad, which Murillo was a member of himself as well. They focused on charitable acts towards the poor and the sick. And they specifically commissioned for this piece of Christ healing the paralytic to be hung in their dining hall to be seen by all of their members. Now diving more into this piece itself, it was based on the gospel written in John chapter five, verses one through nine. After this, there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool, in Aramaic called Bethesda, which has five roofed colonnades. In these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Get up, take your bed and walk. And at once the man was healed and he took up his bed and walked. Now looking at the paralytic, we can see the anguish in his face, the sorrow in his eyebrows as he's describing to Jesus that he has been here for 38 years, waiting for that occasional moment when the angel comes to stir up the water. And they believe that whoever was the first one into the pool would be healed of whatever ailment they had. We can tell that he's been here for a while because of his personal articles that he has with him, a cane, a pitcher, and a plate. And it's evident that he has been here for more than one night. Jesus looks down at him with his arms stretched and compassion written all over his face. He and the paralytic exchange this moment. And if we look closely, it's as if there is a force lifting up the man representing a miracle that is about to happen. And Murillo captures this moment so eloquently and we are drawn into this moment right before Jesus is about to heal this man. As just mentioned, um, if we look up to the right corner over here, we can see the angel um, that is spoken of that occasionally appears. And the difference between Jesus and the angel that makes this painting so special and remarkable is the fact that the angel is only, only comes for an occasion. It comes and is gone. It is not there to interact with the people and to help them. 
But Jesus, on the contrary, he is there, he is present, and he is speaking with the paralytic among all the others around him. And this was very effective for the people in the hospital that this was commissioned for because the audience was lame and sick and poor. And so when they would see this painting hung up on the wall in the dining area, they could look to Jesus and find hope. And so the message that Murillo really wanted to portray in this painting was the message of Christ. And that no matter who you are, where you come from, you can have hope in Jesus. All you have to do is trust in Him. Christ's message is very simple. All who are lame and weary, come to me and I will give you rest.